Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with variable questions. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x square into t square y by dx square minus 3x into dy by dx plus 4y equals to 2x square. So we are given a differential equation with variable coefficients, right? Now we are going to reduce this equation to a differential equation with constant coefficients by making some substitution. Given differential equation, x square into d square y by dx square minus 3x into dy by dx plus 4y equal to 2x square. We know that d is a differential operator with independent variable x. Then d square will be d square by dx square, right? Now we can write this equation as x square into d square y minus 3x dy plus 4y equal to 2x square. Now take y common from all the three terms of LHS. We'll get x square d square minus 3x d plus 4 into y equal to 2x square. Now put x equals to e power z then log x equals to z for x greater than 0. Let theta equals to d by dz where theta is a differential operator with independent variable z then x d equals to theta and x square d square equal to theta or theta minus 1. Now this equation becomes replace x square d square by theta or theta minus 1 minus 3 into replace x d by theta plus 4 into y equal 2 into replace x by e power z then we'll get e power z whole square then theta into theta theta square minus theta minus 3 theta plus 4 into y equal to 2 into e power 2 z right then theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into y equal to 2 e power 2 z so this is a differential equation with constant coefficient constant coefficients and also this is an operator form which is an operator form f of theta into y equals to some function of z right where f of theta equals to theta square minus 4 theta plus 4. Now we need to find the general solution of the given differential equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. We need to find yc and yp now. The auxiliary equation is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equal to we have f of theta theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 right let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 4m plus 4 now our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0 then see we can write minus 4 as 2 into m into 2 Okay, we can write minus 4m as 2 into m into 2 and this 4 as 2 square. Now this is of a square minus 2ab plus b square expansion of a minus b whole square form. We'll get m minus 2 whole square equals to 0. Then m minus 2 into m minus 2 equals to 0. Now we equate each factor to 0. From m minus 2 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 2. Since m minus 2 is repeating twice, so we'll get m equals to 
2, 2, which are equal roots. The roots are real and equal. We know that when two roots are real and equal, say m1 equals to m2, then yc will be c1 plus c2z into a power that equal root into z. Now coming to our complementary function. yc equals to c1 plus c to z into e power that equal root into z which is equals to c1 plus c to z into e power 2z. Now we are having yc in terms of z. We need to write in terms of x. We know that simply by replacing e power z by x and z by log x. Okay. In order to replace e power z by x, we need to write e power 2z as e power z whole square. Okay, we'll write e power 2z as e power z whole square. This is equals to, now replace z by log x, we'll get c1 plus c2 log x into, replace e power z by x, then you'll get into x square. Therefore, y c equals to c1 plus c2 log x into x square. We got y c. Let's now find y t. Particular integral. We'll find particular integral using yp equals to 1 by f of theta into q of z. We have f of theta and q of z where f of theta is theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 and q of z is 2 into e power 2z. Right? We can write it as 2 into 1 by theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into e power 2z. So this is all. 1 by f of theta into e power a z form, right? We have f of theta, theta square minus 4 theta plus 4. Now compare e power 2z with e power a z, then for a equals to 2, we'll find f of a which is equals to f of 2 equals to, replace theta by 2, we'll get 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 4, this equals to 4 minus 4, 2 is 8, plus 4 equals to 4 plus 4, 8, minus 8 is equals to 0. So, by replacing theta by 2, we will get the denominator 0. Okay? So, if we replace theta by 2, we will get 1 by 0 into e power 2z. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. So, what we will do? We will just find f dash of theta. This equals to 2 into since f of 2 is equals to 0. So, we will write 1z into 1 by find f dash of theta. f dash of theta is derivative of f of theta is 2 theta minus derivative of 4 theta is 4 plus derivative of a constant is 0. So, f dash of theta is 2 theta minus 4 into e power 2z. Now let's find f dash of a or f dash of 2. This equals to 2 into 2 minus 4 equals to 4 minus 4. Again we got f dash of 2 0 since f dash of 2 equals to 0. So we'll find f double dash of theta f double dash of theta is derivative of f dash of theta. So derivative of 2 theta with respect to theta is 2 minus derivative of a constant is 0, right? f dash of theta is 2 which is non-zero, right? Then this becomes 2 into 
you already have z write one more z into one by derivative of two theta minus four is two into e power two z right then this becomes two into z into z z square into e power two z by two so two two gets cancelled and we'll get z square into e power two z now we are having yp in terms of z we need to write in terms of x right how we can write in terms of x by replacing e power z by x and z by log x for that we need to write e power 2z as e power z whole square this equals to now we can replace z by log x we'll get log x whole square into replace e power z by x we'll get x square therefore y square Sorry, therefore y p equal to x square into log x whole square. Now we got y p and y c. We can write the general solution. Therefore, the general solution is given by y equal to y c plus y p. Then y equal to y c we have c one plus c two log x into x square plus y p x square into log x whole square or x square into c one plus c two log x plus log x whole square. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with constant solve. Variable questions in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.